It's Matt and Essie. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Essie and today I'm going to show you how to create these three reverse tie-dye face masks designs. We have the spiral, the scrunchie, and the accordion. Before we dive in, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to this channel to learn more easy DIY arts and crafts activities in the future. Here are all the items that I'm using for this project. I have the link of all these products in the description box if you guys want to purchase them. First item that we have in here is bleach. We also have liquid dye in here. I use Ritz liquid dye. You can also use a powder version. We also need these plastic bottles, face masks of course, rubber bands, and that way we don't stain our hands. We have here disposable gloves, some sort of container to put our bleach, and a drying or cooling rack like this one. This is actually a cookie cooling rack, but you can definitely use any kind of rack that you have at home and then just make sure you have something to catch the excess water um, on the bottom. First thing I did was to prepare my dye, so I just got this bottle right here, filled it up with one cup of hot water, it goes right about here, and then I got one tablespoon of the liquid dye, put it in the bottle with the water, then I shook it up to mix it, and you can definitely put more dye in there in the mixture if you want the color to be more vibrant. And you can put less of the dye if you want the color to be more pastel, um, kind of light color. So it's totally up to you. Next thing you want to do is to rinse off your masks. Now you want to do this for two different reasons. One is if your mask is brand new, you are doing this to get rid of all the chemicals that are left when they made the masks. And the second is you want your face masks to be damp, not soaking wet, damp. So rinse it off and get rid of extra water and you are ready to go. The first design that we are going to do is the spiral design. So you can choose wherever you want the center of the spiral to be at. Um, I personally would like it to be here in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip it like this and I'm going to create a spiral by pinching the middle and then twisting the rest of the fabric around it. There we go. As you can see here, the front has a good spiral to it. Obviously, it's a face mask, face mask, so you don't have to worry about how the back looks like because no one can see that anyway. Now get your rubber band and we are going to just create a little pizza slice. And there we go. Next up, we are going to create this crunchy. It's very easy. All you want to do is to kind of scrunch up your face mask. There is no right or wrong way to do it. Just scrunch it however you want. Go. You can include the straps or you don't have to. It's up to you. I do want it included. So I'm just going to go ahead and scrunch it up towards the body of the mask like this and then I am going to get my rubber band and loosely gather it together. There we go. And finally, we are going to create the accordion style. So with this, I am just going to fold the mask inwards like so. 
and then fold the mask in the middle and then you want to create pleats on your face mask like so. So you basically just want to fold it many times. Then you get your rubber band. Voila! Now this is when you put on your disposable gloves because now you are going to be dealing with bleach. I have my container here and I'm going to put some bleach in it. Let's get our face mask and we are just going to dunk it in here. Let's get our scrunched up face mask. And finally, our accordion. Here they all are. I'm just kind of letting them chill there and soak in as much bleach as the fabric can. After probably like 30 minutes or so, we'll be right back and rinse them off. Next, we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off. When I bought these masks, it said in the material because I wanted to make sure that I'm getting cotton. It said that it is cotton. So probably it meant like the body of the mask, but the lining and the straps, I don't think is cotton because yeah, it did not absorb any of the bleach at all. Anyway, we'll go ahead and color this in. All right, ooh, don't you guys love the color that is on the bottom of the pan? I love it. Okay, now here is the other one. Now we are to leave this overnight, but make sure to cover it up with some sort of plastic. That way it doesn't dry up. After letting it sit overnight, here is our face masks. Okay, I am a little excited and nervous to check out the outcome, but here is the spiral face mask. This is the back, which is not important, and here is the front. The colors didn't really seep in very well. Hmm, we might have to redo this one to add more colors. All right, and then here is this crunchy. Same with this one. The colors really didn't absorb very much. And let's take a look at the accordion one. The back looks really good. <laughs> but the front, oh no. Here 
here are our finished products. Here is the spiral one and I did have to do this twice because after the first process, it turned into something like this. As you can see, there is really no spiral design on it. So I decided to re-spiral it, dip it in bleach again, and do the entire process of putting dye and leaving it overnight, yada, yada, yada. And this is how it turned out. So you can see this is the first spiral and then this is the second spiral. So it didn't really turn out as a spiral as I wanted it to be, but um, I think it's still pretty cool. This, however, is my favorite. This is the scrunchy one. Uh, I just love, love the colors. And I love the style. And finally, this is the accordion. Also pretty cool, right? Okie dokie, that's it. That's the end of our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to click the thumbs up button down below. And in the comment section, let me know which one of the masks that we made is your favorite. I'll see you guys again next time. Essie here for Nat and Essie Crafts. Bye! Thank you for watching! If you want to see more videos from us, just click one of the boxes on the screen right now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking Sprinkles the Bear. Also, let's continue to find all over the internet. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Bye besties!